Yes, guys, Coach Sam here, and I'm joined with Bex, and we're going to be bringing you the next installment of the, uh, the home workouts. So, uh, the last phase we did triceps, which is, which is fantastic, you know, really focused sessions on certain days where we're doing three exercises in a row for, for different body parts, and that's going to, you know, transition nicely now into um, this phase, which is timed sets. Okay, so for this phase, we're going to be going back to more sort of quad um, and, and back base days. So they're going to be your Monday and Thursday workouts, and then we're going to be doing more sort of posterior chain and shoulders or posterior chain and pecs on the other days. Okay, in this program, guys, we're going to be using for the first time a conjugate method, okay, where we're going to be doing different rep schemes through the week. So the start of the week is going to be time sets um, with lower reps, which means we're going to be using um, a higher percentage of your 1RM. So we'll be working with higher, more heavier resistance is at the start of the week on Monday and Tuesday. But on a Thursday and Friday, we're going to be you know, doing the same sort of body parts, but on a different rep range. So it's going to stimulate your body in different ways. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy this, um, this phase. And it's certainly going to get your heart rate up maybe a little bit more than other sessions. But from a muscle building point of view as well, you're certainly going to get a lot of volume into the, um, into the working muscles, which will definitely facilitate hypertrophy and set us up nicely for when gyms reopen, hopefully in the UK shortly. Because when we're making this video, we're in our third lockdown here in, uh, in the UK. Okay, so um, we're going to start the workout a little bit different than normal. All Bex is going to do, uh, she's done her warm up, so if you guys haven't, press pause, go and do that. Is, um, all the warm up routines are on the app. We've done ours. Uh, we're going to start the workout, and every day this week is, is quite similar, especially today and tomorrow. For the first two days of the week, we're basically going to work up to a 12 rep max on the stability ball hack squat. Okay, so we're going to take three, potentially four sets in the next eight to ten minutes, just working up to a 12 rep max. Now, a 12 rep max means that Bex cannot do any more than 12. Okay, she's going to go four seconds down, all right, with the bands around her neck, uh, stick it to the temple, all right, create as much tension as she can from the quads, and she's only going to be able to do 12. Okay, and then we're going to use that weight then for our time set. So it's vital, guys, that we find a true 12 RM in the next eight to 10 minutes. Okay, so Bex is going to win. She's going to just forget about the bands for now. She's going to give me a nice set of 12. I'm going to show you the tempo. Let's get the joints nice and ready. All right, so she's going to turn her toes out about five degrees. Yeah, make sure that twist ball or spilly ball sitting in the arch of your back. She's going to go down in four seconds. Four, three, two, one, and up she comes. One. She's going to go for a nice set of 12. All right, just getting those knees and joints um, nice and warm. Okay, so Bex should probably do 50, 60, 80, 100 of these if she can do two. Okay, so we're a million miles away from being anywhere near uh, a 12 rep max. Perfect, good, nice and simple. Just do a nice set of 12. All right, then you can shake them off of a drink. This session today is going to be go, go, go. But in terms of getting a strength-based stimulus from this workout, we have to find the right tension on the bands and the right resistance. Okay, happy with that? 12. Okay, perfect. So that's a set of 12, nice and simple. All right, so um, doesn't count as a set, guys. That's just showing you the technique. Okay, so now we're going to look at um, creating some band tension. So what do you want to start with? A glue? Yeah. So, yeah. Now, Bex hasn't got to do 12 now. All right, we're going to, she's going to have a little play with this, this sort of resistance. And I advise you guys to do the same. Give me a set of six to eight. And round about eight, you should get a gauge of where you are in terms of the resistance that you need. All right. So Bex is going to do a set of eight. So you guys at home, do a set of six to eight with a bit of band tension on there. Good. Make sure you breathe as well, guys. Okay, so this is back today. Drep, should we take the band off? I say have a little rest, about 60 seconds, take 90 seconds. How was that? Okay. Okay, so how many of you have done with that weight? If you have to do maximum reps. Mm -hmm. So Beck said she could probably do 20 with that. So 20 is, is, is too, too high. Okay, she can do too many reps with that band. So we need to add more band tension now for the next set. Okay, so what do you want to try next? Green and blue? Yeah. Okay. So Bex is being quite aggressive with her, her choice. She's going to go with a blue and a green. Okay. Now if you've got any tall people doing this yet, yeah, the more the band stretch, the more tension they, they create. Okay, so 
We're gonna try try this now again. Bex is gonna do six straight reps. There we go. And what's happening gonna happen, guys? In week two and three, you should know your 12 RM by then. You can add more time to the time set. So this is only something you have to do really um, in week one. And we will do it in week two, but we'll, we'll spend a bit less time doing it because you should know where you are. Good, you breathe. Okay, how's that? Okay, press it. How many is that? How many is that? Five. Okay, Bex did five, and she gave me a little look to think, oh my god, that's getting hard. Would you say that's? Yeah. Okay, so that's about right. So Bex thinks that's her 12 rep max. Okay, which is uh, which is perfect. Okay, so she can go with a blue band and a green band. Yeah, she got the five or six reps then, and she's like, shit. Yeah, that's really starting to burn now. Um, she gave me the little nod to say that's that's where she needs to start. Okay, so yeah, guys, if you need to, if you're unsure uh, whether you, you found your way yet, yeah, just press pause right now. Um, have a little drink. Get yourself back in on the bands and find that sweet spot where you think, holy shit, 12 reps is gonna be murder and there's no way I can do 13. Okay, so perfect, we found Bex, she's gonna go with the blue and the, the green. So now we're gonna start our time set. Now we know Bex could do 12 with our weight, okay, with our resistance, but she's only gonna do eight, okay? The time set we're gonna do for uh, day one and day two of this program is eight reps. So Bex is gonna go in, she's gonna do eight reps. She's then gonna go into her table rows, Okay, so we want a, a, a form of table row. Now, we can put the barbell along here. I'll, I'll do that for the first few sets. All right, we can also, um, we've got a chin-up bar here. For anyone that has a chin-up, I can, I can give Bex um, a band on there and she can do her assisted chin-ups, okay? But for the rest of you, you're gonna do your table row. So, how the table row looks. Yeah, Bex can just demonstrate. I'll move this after each set. Okay, so we get in. Yeah, underneath the table, overhand grip, however your table works, yeah. That's it, chucking the ball, that's it. And yeah, she's gonna do eight reps again, okay? So again, she wants to manoeuvre her feet in a way to make this a roundabout, uh, a weight she could do more than eight of, okay? But she's only gonna do eight, so yeah. If you start dropping off, guys, that's fine, it's a workout, and obviously we want you working hard. That, they're the table rows, okay? They're the second exercise of our, our time set. So Bex can do eight squats with the ball, and then she can do eight table rows, okay? I'll move the, the bar in now. Obviously at home you can have your table. If you haven't got your table, you can do TRX rows, banded rows, you know, anything that's, as long as the pulling movement, and it's around about a 12 rep max, even though you're only gonna do eight. Then we're gonna go into, we're gonna do a split squat for me. We're gonna go into a split squat with a flat foot, okay? Flat Yeah, so I, sh I told you what it is not long ago. Okay, so Bex can put her hands on her hips if she needs to. She's gonna take her foot right into that, that position there. She's gonna, that's it, up as much as she can. And she's not gonna push off the back leg. She's gonna step up from there. One, step back down. Good, foot flat on the floor, toes down, that's it, up again. Two, okay? So it's a variation of split squat. You wanna go right into full knee, that's it. So you work in the bottom range of the BMO, the bottom 15 degrees, okay? Perfect, we do eight of them on each leg. That's gonna certainly get your glutes um, really burning. And then the last exercise, guys, is a nice one. Uh, we're just gonna do a face pull. So you're gonna start here, yeah, pulling that band in to the face for eight seconds. Does that make sense? Okay, that's gonna be our time set. Eight, 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 okay? On the step, the split squat step ups to each leg. I'm gonna go for 20 minutes in week one, 22 and a half minutes in week two, and then 25 minutes in week three. And we got a little C series at the end. Alright, so ready for it? Okay. Here we go. So, we're going to move the barbell in and out for the first few sets, then I'll put a band up then for Bex to do some chin ups, uh, and we'll have a little play, okay? So, 20 minutes, guys. We've had a My Zone Challenge running in the gym, and this phase is going to be perfectly suited to the My Zone Challenge. You can get a lot of meps because it's go, 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 okay? Okay, right in. Stop my stopwatch. Make sure you find that 12 rep max, guys. You're not going to get anything from this program if the, if the weights are way too light. And feel free to have a kettlebell in your hand as well if you need to on these, uh, on these squats. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, 20 minutes starts now. Let's go, guys. Good, 20 minutes. We're going to add time as well every, every week. Good, just remember, you're just doing eight. Four. Nice and slow, stick to that tempo, make sure it's three to four seconds down. Good, don't rush it. Good, 
Good. Perfect. Good. Okay. Next we get on a table. That's it. Table row. Just show you how to do it. Get under the table. Yeah. You're going to get much more guys from a table row than you will from a banded row. Okay. I'll be able to tell the members that have been doing the banded rows because they're going to hang from a chin up and not be able to bend the elbow. Because with the bands, think about it. Bands get harder as you roll closer to the body, yeah? As you get, as they stretch, they get harder. A chin-up, most women, they can't bend the elbows, okay? On a chin-up, so you want a, um, a row that's gonna challenge you on that first 15 degrees of bending the elbow. Okay, eight reps each leg now. Right in, keep it up. Eight, good. Two, so back to half is flying up. Set, okay, set three. Good. Four, five, good. Bex has got strong legs. Six, if you're struggling with these guys, just try your best not to use that back leg. If you need to, if you need to use it a little bit, then that's fine. Other side, good. Eight, each side, good. Good. Nice, well done. Eight, yeah. Okay, good, pecs into your face pulls. Yeah, face pulls now, so pull right in, nice squeeze into your forehead if you can. Two, good. So working all the scab retractors, external rotators, keeping your, your body feeling good. Just eight reps, remember that, good. That's it, perfect. So straight back into squats, guys, there's no rest, okay? All right, your legs will rest when your upper body's working, the upper body rests when the, uh, the legs are working. Stay with the same resistance, and as, of, as you progress the time set, obviously it's gonna get harder. Good, so we're, we're two minutes and 40 seconds in. So based on that, we're gonna get between seven and eight rounds in, I think, okay? Honestly guys, you want to be using your body weight for this exercise, you don't want to be using bands because we have a banded face pull um, as your B4 exercise. All right, we want you to get you using your body weight. Good. Perfect. Well done. The good thing about the, the rows as well, if you're using um, the TRX or the gym rings, you can move your body to always make sure you get the reps in. Eight, good. Nice, good. Good, do well. Yeah, you can feel the arse working, guys. Yeah, that glute max, glute, glute medius is going to be working tough. Good. Well done. So you really work your glutes, guys, in that bottom range of the squat. Okay, so that's why you're going to feel them doing that. I said eight reps now. Good. This is probably the easiest exercise of the day. Good. You should be getting your heart rate up into the yellow zone soon, and that's where you want to try and stay for this if we can. Or the green zone, rather, yeah. So the green aerobic zone. That's where you should be, where you should be spending most of your time in this workout. Good. If you're not hitting that green zone by round three, you're probably not going quite heavy enough. So maybe try and increase the uh, resistance on certain exercises. 
If you haven't got any a table guys, you can do your banded rows if you need to. Also do alternating lunges if you prefer. You could do walking lunges if you have enough room. And by all means, if you want to add some weight, you uh, you can as well. Yeah, and the purpose we're getting on that. Yeah, go go go. Bex's heart rate is at 130, guys. Okay. So this is a program where we're getting aerobic adaptations. Okay, your heart rate's in a really good zone. Um, she's been burning a lot, a lot of fat for fuel in this uh, in this zone. She's working between 60 and 70 percent the maximum heart rate. Okay, so you know we're burning through tons of carbohydrates um, during this program. You are going to be burning a higher percentage of um, energy from fats. Okay, now we hit the green zone for the first time. So this is where we're going to start getting even more physiological adaptations. You know, if you spend a lot of time here, you'll find that your, your resting heart rate starts to decrease, your blood pressure starts to improve. And if you spend a lot of time in what we call this is zone three, yeah, then spend most of your time in zone two, but now in zone three, you know, you're, gonna, you're gonna feel that you really have a benefit in terms of improving your VO2 max. Okay, here we go. That's it. So try and transition nice and fast between the exercises. Don't take more than 10 15 seconds between each. Good. Okay, so that's it. So Bex is quite fit, aerobically. She's heart rate's dropped a little bit now in the rest period. She's down to uh, 105. So that's a test, guys, in terms of how fit you are. If you do rest for 20 seconds, you know, in between exercises, if your heart rate starts to drop quite fast, that's a really good sign in terms of your cardiovascular fitness. If your heart rate gets quite high and you're not doing anything and it stays high, that's a sign that physiologically maybe um, this phase is going to have a lot of benefits um, for you. Okay. Good, there you are. So Bex is back up now, yeah, she's already back up to close to the green zone. Heart rate's back up to 125. And guys, this isn't. It's, this, this is fantastic for building muscle because Bex's quads are working hard on, on the B1. Then her back is working hard on the B2. She's going back to quads and glutes on this exercise, and then she's doing some, um, you know, rear deltoid work. So if you look at how much rest her middle of her back is getting, it's probably getting around two, two and a half minutes. Okay, so just like you would with a hypertrophy training program, you do your bench press and your chin ups you probably rest between 90 seconds and three minutes. So those particular muscles are getting the rest that they need, okay? But Bex is still working, go, go, go. Yeah, she's burning lots of calories. She's getting that blood flowing around the body. Hopefully you'll see the post that I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on the members group before this, uh, encouraging all the members to take their resting heart rate, take their blood pressure, um, monitor their sleep, and I'm sure that this training phase particularly will have a positive impact on all three of those things. Whenever I've given time sets to people in this way, you know, their resting heart rate has decreased from anything from three, four, or five beats in a three week phase, which is phenomenal. Because the lower your resting heart rate, yeah, it, it means the bigger gap between your resting heart rate and your maximum heart rate. You've got more gears to go through. It's a bit like comparing a, a Mini Cooper with three gears, to a range of a sport with six gears. The range of a sport, you know, has much more potential. We go. Okay. 
Good job. Good. So this time, next heart rate's at 130. Start in the set. In the last set, it was on 105. Good. Nice and controlled tempo. We're 10 minutes and 40 seconds in, so we're over halfway now. If you're doing it in week one, you're over halfway. Remember, 20 minutes in week one, 22 and a half in week two, and in the third week doing the program will be 25 minutes. Good, well done. Eight reps again, nice and slowly release. Nice, good. And at the end of the week, guys, you're not going to do eight reps on each. It's going to be 15 reps on each at the end of the week, and we'll be using more of a 20 rep max. Okay, so it's going to stimulate the nervous system in a totally different way. All right? Your quads are burning, guys. Yeah, you're doing well. Nearly 12 minutes in. Heart rate's at 140, it's the highest it's been. Good. I'm here with my SOS apparel, drinking my greens, SOS greens drink, super greens. It's actually quite nice. Nice uh, orange lip to it. See, I've been drinking one of these every day now as part of my routine. With also, also some creatine. Um, not in the same uh, smoothie, but yeah, I've been having the creatine in this every day, along with the multivitamin, and my energy levels are definitely higher. Recovering a little bit better. My HRV has improved as well on my um, aura ring. So that's, uh, that's positive. So yeah, surprising how small changes can have a little effect on, uh, on your health and your well-being. If anyone has got any information, guys, about the, the, the supplements which we just started, just let us know. Uh, we're more than happy to have a chat to you online and do the chronometer, um, you know, personal peace book assessment. When we look at what you're eating, and we can, um, you know, advise you really on what supplements are going to bridge the gap between, you know, what you're, what you're eating and what you should eat. So if anyone wants to take us up on that, just speak to me or, or your designated SOS coach, and we can get you sorted. You know, and if you feel a bit better, you're recovering better, you're going to train harder, ultimately your results are going to uh, improve as well. And that's what it's all about, it's marginal gains. Okay, we're 30 minutes in now, so Bex has got 7 minutes to go. Yeah. So you're going to definitely find you've a lot more calories doing this workout. Bex has burned 100, 103 already. Yeah, which is great, and she's only been going for 13 and a half minutes. She's burning around 10 calories, um, about 8 to 10 calories a minute, which is brilliant. You know, you, you probably wouldn't burn much more than that if you were doing, um, you know, a, a power walk or if you were doing a cross trainer. And the benefit of this as well is Bex is actually working her, her muscles in a way that's going to maintain muscle mass and maybe even improve it. So it's going to have a bigger effect on your body composition. Okay, let's go. Eight, seven, six. This is a great uh, demonstration as well, guys, of what you can do with a power rack if you've got a little home gym like this with a stability ball, some bands, a TRX, or some gym rings hanging from it. Loads of different ways you can train. Well done. Okay, good. Bex can go straight in now, yeah, in the next exercise. So, heart rate's up to 141, it's the highest it's been. Go, go, go. Eight. Seven, what's that? Four, good. Good. Ooh, come on. Good. That's it. Remember, if you're struggling, guys, you can just do your split squats on either leg, yeah. That's another way of doing it if you do get too fatigued. Yeah. But if you've been following the progression, we've been laying out a few of these workouts, there's no reason why you shouldn't do this. And you can even do the commando get up if you want to, where you actually base the foot off the back floor and it's all on that front leg then. Good. And after this time set, guys, just got a nice little C series just for the arms, shoulders, and biceps. Just to finish off uh, the workout. Okay, perfect. So the further back you come, obviously, the more band tension you're going to have. 
to really try and rip that band apart as well. So as you pull it in, rip it this way. Yeah, that's it. Good. Heart rate's been 144. Highest it's been, yeah. So that's what you'll find as the time says the first 10 minutes should be okay. Between 10 and 15 minutes starts to get hard, and then from 15 minutes onwards, depending on your fitness levels, it's gonna get even more challenging. Try and get back to our fast transitions now. Good. We've got some more um, cardio based movements in the time set towards the end loop with things like jump squats. Alright, so that's going to get your heart rate up even more. And they're better suited to 15 reps as well, so yeah. Nice. Okay, we're 16 and a half minutes in, guys, so three and a half minutes to go. Perfect. That's it. Let's straight back into the, the rows. Good. Eight reps again. That's it. Make it nice and challenging. Well done. Nice, three minutes left. Let's go. We're going to try and get another round after this one. Almost there. Good. So I advise you guys to count your rounds. Yeah, track your weights on the app. Uh, remember the bands. We, 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 it's up to you how you do it. Everyone can do it differently if they want to. But as long as you keep it consistent, the way we advise is, it, is to use the red band, which is the lightest band, and put in as three kilos. The purple band, which is the second heaviest resistance, at six kilos. The green is nine kilos, and our heaviest band that we have is the blue. We put that in as 12. I do appreciate some of your bands in different colors, but if you want to follow that three, six, nine, twelve uh, principle, that's fine. I'll just label them one, two, three, and four. Also works, or you know, whatever you prefer, but keep it the same. And as long as you know how you're doing it, your goal then is to you know maintain these resistances next week, um, and then add more time to the time set. We'll go for an extra two and a half minutes next week. Good, face pulls, yeah. You are up at 143, 76%, yeah, we're in that green zone. Getting aerobic adaptations. Good, this is kind of the exercise that uh, acts as a little bit of a rest. It's probably the easiest one of the lot, but it's one of the most important for our posture. Okay, so we've got 90 seconds to go, guys, yeah? And that's, uh, that's if you do the 20 minutes. Go, go, go. If you're in week two, guys, and you're re-watching this video, you're going to need to get a, have a stopwatch available, all right? And when we finish, you need to carry on. Yeah, 22.5 minutes in week two, all right? So you're going to need to keep going for two and a half minutes in week two, and you're going to need to keep going for five minutes in week three, and then you'll have to join us for the C-Series. So volume is definitely going to go up over this three-week phase. You're going to be burning more calories, getting more MEPs, and challenging that heart rate and that body a lot more as we progress through this phase. Good, got one minute left. Good, okay, so 45 seconds to go. So Bex is gonna finish off the rows now. Taking a time limit. Thirty seconds to go. Okay, 20 seconds. Good, well done. So guys, yeah, if you're on week two, get ready to press pause and then start your stopwatch. Good, you've got 10 seconds to go. Okay, three. Okay, if you're in week one, guys, you can rest there. If you're in week two, Keep going for another two and a half minutes. If you're in the in week three, you're gonna keep going for five minutes. Press pause now, get your stopwatch or your phone or whatever it is so you can time. All right, and you're gonna keep doing that circuit 
yeah, the squats, the rows, the, the step ups, yeah. We've done it about seven or eight times, and the face pulls, so you should know what you're doing. Keep doing that right now, all right, and then you can join us for the, um, the CCs, because Bex has done it in 20 minutes, all right, guys? Okay, all right, perfect. So we're gonna move on to our C series now. Um, hopefully you'd, you'd, you'd rather just join us straight away or you've done the um, extra minutes based on where we are with the program. Uh, we've got shoulder press banded, yeah, as a tricep exercise. So yeah, we're going to be here, press it up, down nice and slowly, trying to pull that band apart a little bit as well to get a bit more rear delt activation. We're going to go for 15 reps there. Um, the red band's a little bit flimsy, probably going to need the, uh, the purple band. All right, and then from there we're going to go into kneeling, um, bicep curls with a quarter rep at the top, okay, to challenge that uh, shortened position, okay? So your, 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 your shoulders should be fine. We haven't done any pushing today, all right? We are gonna do a lot of pushing tomorrow. This is gonna potentiate the shoulders nicely, get the tricep fired up, ready for uh, time sets tomorrow. So 15 reps for Bex, let's go. That's it, just a little bit of uh, accessory work now, guys. The hard work is done in terms of the time sets. Yeah, we do want to make sure that we're, you know, we're following up the theme of every session being a total body workout. But we very much bias the back and the quads today with the pulling movements and the squats and the step ups. 15, get a nice burn on. Good. Nice, okay. 15 reps is hard. Woo! Okay, so Bex is going to, you can try that. Okay, take a little rest guys, me too. Um, I've really been used to doing time sets, there's a tendency to rush things now, but the C series isn't time sets. Okay, so you can take 30 seconds between each exercise, and all Bex is gonna do, is you're gonna stand on it, okay, you want the elbows to be in front of the body, get a bit of tension on the band, so yeah, and all you're gonna do, you're gonna curl up, and then a quarter rep at the top, that's one. Curl up, quarter rep at the top two. If you look at my, my arm position, my arms are not by my side, it's about 45 degrees away from my torso. All right, you're gonna curl up, there, okay? Curl up, there, okay? So we're gonna do 15 reps, um, but you're gonna get 30 contractions in that short position. So this is gonna carry over the chin up, most people can get to there on the chin up, but they can't finish it off, okay? So just spend a bit more time in that short position of the bicep, it's gonna help you be able to finish off that chin up. Okay, 15 reps, the quarter rep. Top, good. Quarter up the top, good. 15, one. That's it, adjust the resistance as you need to. That's it, pump these in, yeah. That's it. This is gonna, this might be quite hard guys actually because you've done a lot of rowing, you've done some face pulls as well, the biceps are definitely involved in those. Oh, yeah. The guns, yeah, this is for the boys, yeah. Some women are just so weak, um, and it's just because they don't do any direct arm work. Their biceps and triceps are very weak in isolation, and then when it comes to doing the big movements, they really struggle. But if you can spend a bit of time, you know, even just one or two exercises a week, doing some direct tricep and bicep work, it'll transfer nicely into your, uh, your pulling power, definitely help you uh, accomplish uh, chin-ups. But yeah, this exercise is going to be the hardest. We've got a quarter rep in there, and we've done a shit ton of rows today. All right? 30 seconds then. Feel that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, Bex and Harvey's at the 76% to in the bicep curls. Okay, 30 seconds. We've got two sets to go, guys. There's three sets of this today. Um, if you found it hard today, next week the time set is longer. All right? And if you found it quite easy today, then definitely go a bit heavier. And then in the final of the program, it's going to be five minutes longer than today, which is probably the equivalent of around another, another two rounds, which, you know, will be about 60, 60, 70 more reps. Okay, back to shoulder presses for set two. The time set is always a favorite in the gym. People like the, the feel of it. It's more, a bit more metabolic, a bit more sweaty. But you can put on a lot of muscle with it as well, if, as long as you're using the right intensities with the weights and they challenge you. And towards the end of the time set, you're working very close to failure on each of those exercises, which should happen because a 12RM, you know, as you get more fatigued, every subsequent round is going to get more, more challenging and more challenging. 
So by the end of the time set, you know, you're probably going to struggle to hit, the, hit eight reps if the load is right. So to be fair, Beth probably maybe undercooked it a little bit today. Um, she still had a great workout. So if you did manage eight reps, guys, and everything today, especially the squats, you know, maybe go a little bit heavier next week uh, with an extra band. So Bex could probably add the red band in as well. Um, and with the extra two and a half minutes as well, I should uh, be perfect. Okay, go again, set number two. So Bex has been 200 calories already, which is great. Especially for a strength building workout. Is that? Nine. Nine. Oh, good. You're going to get a 15. If you're after rest, pause it, guys. That's fine. Yeah. If you can't get all 15, you can do 10 plus 3 plus 2, you know, 8 plus 7, however you want to do it. But make sure you get a 15. Good. Feel that burn, especially in and around the elbow joint. That bicep tendon is going to be working hard. Well done. Perfect. Dex, if you're not getting this week filled in four workouts of time sets. Okay, last set, yes, yeah, so well done guys, doing really well. Last set of shoulder press, last set of bicep curls. If you need a bit longer rest than you can. Yeah, yeah, Bex's heart rate does drop quite fast. It shows it shows that she's uh, physiologically fit. What's your best scenario, yeah? What? How's that? How's that? Really well. Yeah, so a good resting heart rate, guys, is the average resting heart rate for the UK, they said, is 72 beats per minute, which is quite high. Um, the lowest I've got mine in the last 18 months is around 40 beats a minute. That's based on my aura ring and probably when I'm in a nice deep sleep. Um, I think I'm around 44 beats per minute at the moment, which is good, you know, because the, the bigger and stronger your heart, and like your heart is, the, you know, the stronger it is, the less it has to work in order to pump blood around the body. The leaner people tend to have lower body fat levels as well, because you know, fat tissue does require uh, blood flow. It is living tissue. Good, almost there. Finish off the shoulders, well done. Yep, good. So, good. The reason we put shoulders in today, guys, is our shoulder workout. Uh, posterior chain and shoulders is going to be on Friday. Tomorrow we're going to be focused more on uh, posterior chain and pecs. All right, so we're still hitting shoulders twice a week with this uh, small exposure to the shoulder press on day one of the uh, phase. Okay, last uh, little bit of work. Okay, last exercise of the day. It might seem like a slightly shorter workout, which it is, and that's because there's a lot of density, guys, in this workout. You're doing 20 minutes of non-stop work, so the volume is still very, very high. Um, but it, the time sets are a very time-efficient uh, way of training. If you are short on time, you need an hour at the gym in an hour. With a shower, time sets is probably the way to, to go. If any of my clients are running late for meetings or things like that, then you know, I'll sometimes set up a 25-30 minute time set, yeah, and uh, you can get a, an hour's workout, if you like, in terms of volume, in the 30 minutes. So it's a great technique and a great method if you haven't got loads of time. But we're going to utilise it for this phase because it's also fun and different. Done? Okay, guys, so that's, uh, that's done. How was that? Okay, so, you know, Bex has burned over 220 calories. Uh, I think we've got her heart rate up to, so it's at 134 now. I think we got it close to like, you know, 145, close to 150, which is great. Um, all I would say, guys, if you manage to do eight reps on every single set of the squats, all right, and you did like the seven or eight sets, try and go a little bit heavier next time. What I expect to happen, guys, is when you get a sort of minute 15, 16, 17, and you're approaching the 20 minutes in week one, the 22 and a half minutes in week two, and the 25 minutes in week three, the squats reps should start to slowly get more challenging. You might find you can only use seven or six reps, and that's fine. We want to get those um, those sets at the end of the time set. 
you know, very close to failure. If you can actually hit muscular failure, then that, will, that is absolutely perfect. But what you'll find is with people like Bex, women tend to be able to uh, resist fatigue a lot more, especially in the legs than men. Men will have a bigger drop off, and that's sometimes because we, we are working at a higher intensity because we, have, we do tend to be a little bit stronger. And because we're stronger, there's a bigger drop off. Okay, so yeah, find a way to get and sure on that, then reach out to me, Bex, or any of the team, and we can um, advise you. But we'll catch you tomorrow for installment two of Time Sets. See you then, guys.